Hey, happy Tuesday. So glad to see you today, man. What a great day. What an awesome day we're going to have today. So we've been talking about the benefits or the truths about uh, being a member or a partner uh, of a local church. And we just kind of want to take this week to kind of go through some things, some basic things as you're looking at a local church, certain things that should be, uh, you should look for or you should find or see or someone should just speak on these things we're talking about. Because uh, we all come from various you know, church backgrounds, no background, uh, and this we just want to take a, take an attempt, really take a stab at it to explain who and what the church is all about. Ephesians 2 says it like this, so now you Gentiles are no longer strangers and foreigners. Uh, you are all, you are citizens along with all of God's, it says, holy people. You are members of God's family. Together we are his house built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets and the cornerstone we know, of course, is Jesus Christ uh, himself. And so th- three things we talked about uh, about the church. We said the church uh, is a family. We said that God expects every member uh, to be a part or every person to be a partner or a member of a church family. And number three, we said anybody who is a Christian and not of a church family is really a spiritual orphan. And I believe God really wants you to be part of, to use your gifts, use your talents, use your treasure to help that church grow, to be a blessing to that pastor, to be a blessing to those in that congregation because you have many gifts, you have many talents, and we don't ever want those talents to be lie dormant. You know, uh, Paul told Timothy to stir up the gift of God on the inside of him. And so uh, the goal of this week or the goal of this session is really help you understand your commitment to Christ also includes a commitment to your local church. So you can't just say I'm a Christian, but also also not being committed to your local church. And so uh, the mission of a church, you know, should should have a couple of things in it. Uh, it should include worship, you know, uh, love God with all your heart. We talked about it yesterday with love God, all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. There should be a worship aspect to your local church. There should be a service component to your local church. Love your neighbor as yourself. There should be um, an evangelistic aspect um, to uh, your, the church you're looking at uh, to go and make disciples, the Bible says. And it should be also some fellowship. You shouldn't be just so isolated that you don't feel part of that family. You, you don't have any fellowship with any other partners and members of that church. You know, that's what baptism, you know, we're baptized into Christ, baptized into your church, local church. And there also be some, some discipleship. It should be some training. You should be able to grow and, you know, have some kind of membership class or some kind of discipleship process. And it's the Bible says, teach them in all things. And so the church exists really to celebrate God's presence. Let me say that again. The church, one of the reasons the church exists is to celebrate God's presence. And when we talk about worship, what we're, when I'm talking about worship, we're talking about you totally surrendering your life to God. You want to just, you know, abandon everything. And Lord, I'm, I'm living for you. I'm serving you exclusively. I, I want to worship you. I want to I spend the rest of my life with you. That's what it's talking about, worship. And then prayer, of course, is there should be opportunities for the, in that church for you to communicate with God. You not only communicate with God in your own personal prayer time, but there should be corporate opportunities for you to kind of come communicate with God. John 4, Jesus says this in verse 23, John 4 says, but our cometh and now is, it says, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeks, seeks such to worship him. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So worship and prayer should be part of the local church. Another reason a church exists is really assimilate you into the family of God. Fellowship is so important. You know, when you're belonging to, to the family of God, we need, we need fellowship because a lot of times you may not have the opportunity to fellowship with certain people, the, the place you work or the place you may go to school or where your kids go to school or where your kids may play soccer. You know, you may, may have a good fellowship with those people. You're, you're there to be a light, but you need a place where you can kind of call it safe. You know, home should be safe. You know, the church should be safe. And then Hebrews 10 says like this, it says, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another so much the more as you see the day approaching 
we belong to God's family with other believers. We, we're here because we're with other believers. We, we should not forsake um, the assembly of coming together. I'm not sure what, what other choices some people are making in this post-COVID world, but you got to say, you know what, the word is still true. The word says, don't forsake. The more you see the sign of the times, Jesus coming back, that's the more we should make sure we're spending time together with our church family. The church also exists to educate. I'm going to say that again, to educate God's people. Like I said earlier, there should be a discipleship component be, where you be, helps you become spiritually mature. That should be part of your local church. But the Bible says this over in Philippians 2. It says, let this mind be in you, which was also in, <clears throat> excuse me, in Christ Jesus. We should have a, a place where we're getting our thoughts our minds renew with the word of God, where we're seeing life different, we're speaking different, we're growing, di- we're doing things different, we're growing spiritually. All that, all these things should be a part of the local church that you're praying for, you're praying about, you're looking for. You really want to make sure all these components exist in your local church. God bless you guys. We'll be right back here tomorrow on the Faith for Today podcast.